Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Madeline Schmidt. Police say an Albuquerque man went on a vandalism spree early this morning, leaving strange notes alongside all of his damage. What's more, he reportedly threw an axe at an officer as he was being arrested. News 13's Gene Nguyen is live at Garcia's Kitchen on 4th and Mountain with why police claim it's not a racially motivated incident. Jeannie. Madeline, this is one of the 11 restaurants that the man targeted. Now, if you take a look behind me right here, you can see their front glass door is still shattered. Albuquerque police say Ed Elidio Wallace targeted Mexican-themed restaurants early this morning uh, by throwing rocks through the windows and doors of the businesses. Captured on surveillance video, once he smashed a hole through the windows, he left a note for each business. In those notes, Wallace expressed his hate towards the Hispanic community and addressed each business as, quote, the Mexican Mafia. He also rambles about feeling threatened by them, but Albuquerque police are actually convinced this is far from a racist act. Originally this was looking like some type of a hate crime, but after getting into his background, it's a mental health issue. Part of the reason they know that is because they've encountered Wallace many times previously, but police say today's run-in with Wallace was especially concerning. At one of the locations today, an alarm sounded and police responded, and officers say Wallace threw a hatchet at a police officer in his car. Now, Wallace was booked for aggravated assault on a peace officer. As for the damage and whether or not Wallace faces misdemeanor or felony charges will all depend on the cost of the destruction. Madeline, back to you. All right, thank you, Jeannie. Later tonight on News 13 at 10, we'll hear from the vice president of Garcia's Kitchen as he reacts to the damage at two of his locations.